Hello everyone and welcome to a, uh, a new let's play, just me messing around. I've got the time to spare, I may as well do another one. The joy of being bored with unemployment. Now, this is Adam's Venture Part 1, Episode 1, The Search for the Lost Garden. And as you can tell from that little map on the right, we're going to the Garden of Eden. I got this, I think in September. And I bought it with the Sherlock Holmes collection. You may remember that I played Case of the Silver Earring Blind. That was from that collection, along with uh, the Awakened Nemesis and versus Jack the Ripper, which I'm hoping, which uh, I might do those at some point. Let me read you the blurb to this 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 uh, this CD box that I practically got to, got for free with my game loyalty card discount thing. Meet Adam Venture. Explorer by profession. Funny, heroic, clumsy, but also clever, all at the same time. He may overestimate himself, but he gets the job done in the end. Mostly. Sounds a bit like me, really. Set in the early 1920s, Adam and his striking companion Evelyn, or Evelyn, Evelyn, Eve, something, set out on three incredible adventures captured in this complete trilogy. With stunning visuals, challenging puzzles, and family-friendly, non-violent gameplay, adventure gamers are in for a treat. So, that's the blurb to this game. I'm hoping to do this all in one run. Um, so this will, although it is a blind run, <laughs> all my Let's Plays are really, um, although it would be a blind run, it probably will be pre-recorded, so if you want to comment on the puzzles or anything, um, Feel free to try and solve them, because I think I'll probably have already done them. Um, otherwise, there'll be a description in this first video telling you that actually it's completely and utterly wrong, and this isn't pre-recorded. So, um, I need a piece of paper with the controls on. There is o There are only a few controls. Movement, jump, use, and run. And then getting to the menu. So I'll put that there in front of me so I can read it. And, um... Well, let's get on with the game. February the 12th, 1928. During excavations at an old church in Luz, France, we found a strange scroll containing ancient writing and typical Templar symbolism. Today I, Adam Venture no, it's a discovered ah. what these inscriptions mean. It's incredible. I think the scroll pinpoints the exact location of the four rivers from the book of Genesis. The Pishon, Gihon, Tigris, and Euphrates. I'd have said Gihon, but whatever. March the 24th, 1928. Thanks to the funding of the Clairvaux Corporation and the skills of Professor Jacques Saint-Omer, we found the gates of Eden at the source of the four rivers. Who knows what lies beyond? Eden. I just can't believe it. After more than four years of searching, we're putting up base camp at the foot of the gates. Evelyn is also really excited, and quite frankly, even the dog seems impatient. Can't wait to start digging. I think it's really social. It's like, yes, I know I'm on the plane. I've been here for a while. But tough, I'm writing in my journal. I don't like his voice. Oh, I have control. I have control. Let's run. That's run. Um, Look at all of these supplies. The Clairvaux Corporation sure means business. Clairvaux. So it's something to do with light. And as it's the Templars, maybe they're working with Abstergo. Ah. Right. Um, that does that. Can't do that yet. All right. Wow. Those gates are enormous. I wonder what the doormat will be like. Why would you have a doormat, a doormat at a gate? Oh, and thank you for telling me how to use a ladder game. Oh, 
Oh, and it's even got Hi, a cross Adam. symbol. Did you bring down the rest of our supplies? Well, uh, I brought my cap and this torch. What more can we possibly need? How about those crates with food that were at the back of the plane? Food? Hmm. I thought that was your makeup kit. Anyway, the plane had to leave. There's a big sandstorm coming our way. No worries. The pilot promised he'll be back as soon as possible. Punch him, please. So, what are we supposed to eat until then? Well, we've got one crate of apples. Hello! Sorry about that. Something happened with my computer. I don't know what. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just appalled by his bad jokes. Oh, this is going to be a chore, isn't it? But I said I'd do it. Um, so, yes, she was basically kind of, here is a radio, as we can see in the right, top right corner. Uh, go and speak to the professor. Can we use it now? No. Okay, um, that's not... But yes, the clever have this very interesting cross thingy, so I don't know what they're doing. A strange device in front of a huge gate. A huge closed gate. Nah, I don't see the connection. That's a necessary sarcasm. I think most people will have think seen that and gone, hmm, yes, locking mechanism. Thank you. Here, boy. <laughs> Can I talk to her and maybe replay that cutscene without crashing this time? Let me talk to you. Go and see the professor. He needs your help with something. I don't know, has he found a decent joke book? Sorry. I shouldn't be as annoyed by this character as I am. No, run, keep running. It must be the professor bloke. Ah, Adam, there you are. I have carefully studied the puzzle device that seems to control the gates. And I believe some of its essential parts are missing. Can't we just blast our way in? You fool! Do you have any idea how much those gates are worth? To science, I mean. However, there might just be another way in. These rocks seem to block some sort of tunnel. Well, unless there's some scientific reason not to blast our way through, I'll go and find some explosives. Okay, um, that, that seems... <laughs> Interesting. That seems a little OTT. Just like, just the professor doth protest too much, methinks. The gates are worth so much to science. Science. Do you know where we have explosives? Go and see the professor. Oh, he needs your help with something. Oh, there's a thing. Select a block and rotate it around with enter. When you're done, check your solution with the lever on the right. Now, you can't use the mouse. So, um, right. We want 25 of the thing. So. So that gets us 25. Um, right. Um, oh, that's fixed at a half. Right. So I can't go down. I'm only doing these. So that's got 60. So that's got. So that's going from. So the square. We need 40. So we're getting 80 going down to the left, then 40, then 20, then from, then it's, so, what was that, 80 goes into that top left one, then we get 40, so we get 20 in there, so we only need 20 coming the other side, so it's 80, 20, oh, that's alright, let's check it with the circle, 120, yep, that's right, so 40 needs to, Drop that by there. That should be right. Because then we're only getting five of the diamond, which is what we're after. Why on earth would you have a machine like that to create dynamite? That's just a pointless overcomplication of dynamite construction making stuff. I've got the other two games, I might want to play those. Might. I'm already feeling like this about this about this series. It's not good. I need fire. Need fire. What? There's fire just there. I could use my torch to That took you long enough. Now hurry up and blast those rocks. I need fire. All right. Um. 
Right. Um, I could use my torch to ignite this. How do I use my torch? I need fire. Right. Um. No. Right. Um. Manual. Um. Escape. Pause and settings menu. Shift is run. Control. Crouch or release. Spaces jump. Enter is use. Control Adam using the arrow or W S A and D keys, which is a very weird way of putting it. So. Normally I'll play this ahead, but I thought you know. The rules are so simple. The controls are so simple. I'll be able to do this easily. Let's press every button. Jump. No. Um, crouch. Jump. No. No. Let's run and jump. No, that didn't do anything. Probably because I wasn't running. I could use my torch to ignite this. Then why don't you? 